this is one of the most challenging approaches I do in the 182, it's a gravel bar where you have to make a sharp turn and then land in a short area of the gravel bar. The angle of attack indicator heads up display which is over the glare shield is showing me exactly how much lift I got. There is no guessing looking at the airspeed indicator or listening to the stall warning not knowing how much lift you got and how much slower you can go or how much faster do you need to go. The good thing about angle of attack indicator is that it's not only for this kind of flying. It can be used in any airplane and it is very useful. In this video we'll show you how does it work and the advantages of having an angle of attack indicator. Here is an example of landing on a gravel bar, making the, let's say, right base, and then I'm going to find, I'm going to show you the GPS speed. Earth speed indicators are not reliable at high angle of attack, so right now it's showing about 45, and I'm doing 55, and on short final when I'm doing 43, is showing less than 40, about 32 or 35. So for this kind of landing, you cannot rely on them. Stall warnings have been going off for a while, so you don't know how much lift you have left. In this case, the angle of attack indicator will show me exactly how much lift I got for these conditions, temperature and weight of the airplane. The stall warning is a good indicator, but when you stole a sportsman stall kit, a Cessna wing, I have found out that the stall warning goes off early, about 10 miles an hour, 8 miles an hour before the stall. So it doesn't allow you to get the most performance out of the stall kit, unless you have a lot of time on these airplanes and you can just feel it. The angle of attack indicator helps compensate for that with an accurate indication of lift. On this one you can see the lights reflecting on the windshield. The lights show about 1.2 VSO on short final and touching down 1.1, 1.0 VSO. Of course that will only come this slow there is no wind like here is a view from the outside you can see there is no float or no sink on this landing just a right speed of course to come this slow I need to be coming with some power for the landing so an angle of attack indicator works for every airplane here is the CJ6 Nanshan it is great for Aerobatics, it will show you the lift, for example, at the top of the loop. So, since the head up display is in your front view, you have the option to make corrections without having to look inside the airplane. Also, useful when playing dogfights following the leader, you can be sure you have lift that you never run out of lift, especially on the warper scenes, it does not have a stall warning that will, and you might try to do a maneuver when you are too slow, this will be perfect to show you the exact lift, so it makes this kind of flying a lot safer. Here I'm taking off from Wilson Bar in Idaho, the Cessna 182, I lift off and stay on ground effect until I reach VY and then I start my climb. This is high density altitude and the angle of attack indicator compensate for weight and temperature and also the density altitude. Since we start flying we are taught to rely on the airspeed indicator and it's not bad, it's the only instrument we have to measure our lift with speed. Then there's also the stall warning which is great tool, you will 
let you know you're getting too slow, but it's not that accurate. Your speed indicator, you rely on the pilot operation manual and the speeds for stall speeds and maneuvering and VY, VX are on a full gross airplane. So unless you are flying at full gross, the speeds that are in the manual don't work. You have to go slower than that and then it's when the guessing begins. You have to calculate the weight of the airplane, temperature, density, altitude. This indicator will do all this for you. Let's hear from the experts. In place of one of your inspection hall covers. And then there's tubing that goes to a computer that translates it into an angle of attack display. And we even have a heads up display that you can look through or even be able to fold down. And you, as your angle of attack increases, it just starts to run up. And the blue donut tells you that you're at optimum angle of attack. If the angle of attack gets higher than that, it tells you to lower the nose, back to the blue donut, or raise the nose, back to the blue donut. So you stay on the blue donut, especially if you're coming down final approach. And then as you flare land, you will naturally go into the red chevron with higher angles of attack. As you touch down at a nice slow speed, and you will not have to use your brakes as much as you used So does this have audio? It does have audio. This one has, has five different selections of audio. This one that I selected for this unit is, has the beeps, which is similar to what the F4s and the U2 guys use. And there are four others, that uh, two of which have voice, and the other two are tone-paced. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, Mr. Fitzgerald. Canyon turn is a critical maneuver, difficult in real life, in a real canyon. Here I'm practicing one. The angle of attack indicator is of great use to do this maneuver. This is an approach into Wilson Bar in a Cessna 182. I am approaching with two yellow lights, which means about VSO 1.5. One of the advantages of having the headset display is that you never have to look inside a cockpit when doing your approach. The display you have on the 182 is the Valkyrie. They don't make it anymore, it's about 10 years old. You will compare that it's more difficult to see for the video than the new ones. I have had it for more than 10 years and this system is maintenance free, no problems at all. Here we are flying the CJ6 Nansen, we are going to make a landing, turning base to final, you can see the lights, plenty of lift. I like to approach with two or three yellow bars, so that means when I am flaring for the landing, we are blue light or just red lights so there will be no floating or no sinking when i do the flare i like to put the display of the angle of attack indicator upside down on my airplane i like to see the red at the bottom the way everybody does it and the instructions are to have the red at the top uh, that's good but for me it was more intuitive to have the red at the bottom so that worked for me, but I would say 90% of the people prefer the red at the top. You see this landing, no major drama, no sinking, no floating, coming slow at the right speed. This is why the angle of attack indicator is so useful. And as you can see, it's not only for backcountry flying. It will give you a lot more safety and accuracy. 
the Falcon display from Alpha Systems. You can see here the red lights are the top. Just as a personal preference, I like them at the bottom. But at the top, seems to work better for most people. This is an approach to land at Darrington Airport in Washington, 2400 feet long. And you will see I try to make a short landing. I will exit at the first intersection, which is at 1200 feet. Then you will see the landing, no floating, no sinking and allows you to land slow at the right speed. The angle of attack indicator will give you VX, VY, best glide. So there's lots of functions. It's not only for landing. When you are doing your approach, your base to final third, and all that, you will always have the display in front of you showing how much lift you got. interested in buying an angle of attack indicator from Alpha Systems, tell them you saw Bad Country 182 video and you will get $100 discount on your purchase. This is a tight takeoff from Marble Airstrip in Idaho, high density altitude, loaded airplane. What I try to do is get on ground effect until VY then continue my climb. This one, the trees are very tall, so I try to go to the gap of the hill and the trees. Hope you guys enjoy, and if you want to have uh, talk about Angle of Attack Indicator or any questions, just send me an email to this email below, and I would be happy to help. Hope you can join on Patreon and support Back Country 182 channel. Thank you. Very easy to join to be a patron of Backcountry 182. Go to the YouTube channel on the right hand side, there is the link, and then it takes you to the patron page. Here you can see all the tiers and what is all about the support for Backcountry 182 YouTube channel. Also, another way to access the patron link is in the description of the video. I put in YouTube on Backcountry 182 channel there is a link for Patreon so just click on that and it will take you to the page thank you for watching it would be amazing if you guys are interested and give some support